you know we're all about the kids. Subscribe to that channel. Anyway, let's get to the point. Jim Jones is mad at um, Kim. His bestie is back. <laughs> His bestie is Mace. Now, Mace, Kim, and um, Jim Jones all grew up together, man. They played basketball together. They went to high school together. They grew up. Cam used to stay with Jim Jones at his house where he used to stay with his, you know, his grandma left him the house where he died, where she died. Um, Mace teach Jim Jones how to rap. Um, they, they, they've been around each other for a long time. That's why you see them, they, they, they beef with each other. They show love, they beef again, they show love. But Mace and Cam got a podcast out right now and it's fire. Cam just bought like a big warehouse I don't know, he bought it in New York or he bought it in New Jersey. And they they doing the whole studio thing there. You know, they got a whole team. They got a whole, a big team, like Snoop Dogg Dogg. Like Snoop in LA got a, 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 a one like that. And if y'all ever go on YouTube, you can type it up. Um, Snoop um, Warehouse is crazy. Like people shoot some mad stuff there. Um, Snoop maybe, maybe spend a couple million dollars on that. But it's nice. I don't know how big Cam thing is. But Jim Jones, you got to understand you violated in 2007 or you with with uh, G-Unit. You and Jewel L's Santana violated Cam. With Cam, mom, was she caught a stroke. Y'all turned your back on him because it felt like y'all only care about the money. Jim Jones, you've been with Cam since, what, 10 years old, 9 years old, something like that. For You know what I'm saying? You turned your back on him. With fit, with his, with his beef with 50, you don't supposed to go over there with 50. You don't supposed to do that. That's a G code, man. You from the, you from Harlem. You know you're supposed to be doing no stuff like that. Damon Dash one never did no shit like that. So why will you do some stuff like that? That was shiesty. Joel's was mad at Cam because, uh, you know, he was mad at Cam. He wanted to get off the label. He felt like Cam wasn't promoting him or wasn't giving him quality time, you know, helping him with the albums and stuff. And he wanted to get off the label. And Cam sold his ass like a slave for $2 million to Def Jam. And he signed, he, he signed 100% with Def Jam after that situation and never came out with another album since then. I, I don't know. He's still down with Def Jam or not. You know what I mean? I already don't know. But Santana, I mean, this dude messed his whole career. He, he messed his whole career up. It had nothing to do with Cam. And Jim Jones, don't get me wrong. You've been putting up the greatest music in the last four to five years of Dipset. Cam been putting out a few albums. You know, he did Purple Haze 2. It was a good album, but it wasn't better than the first one. It wasn't corny. It was dope, but it wasn't better than the first one. It was dope. Um, do I play this the Purple Haze 2 like that? No, you know, I used to when it first came out. I haven't played it in a couple couple years. Cam came up with another album last year, like a seven-track MP. That was fire. Um, Cam is a dope rapper, man. He got bars for days. You could you could say Cam could be in the top 10 of one of the best New York rappers in the game. You could put him in the top 20, but he should be in one of them too. Um, Jim Jones should be in the top 30 or 40 rappers. And you might not agree with me. Yeah, I might say he got Ghost Riders. He had um, The Wave, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he had a, a few other people write his songs, you know, back then. But Jim Jones' pen game is crazy now. He really put in that music. But Mace teach Jim Jones how to rap. So Jim Jones is feeling kind of salty about that. I feel like he, I feel like Cam and Jim Jones and Mace did the show together. It would have been better that way. I don't know if Jim Jones got other things to do it, but he seemed like he's real salty about it. You know, I mean, maybe he mad because Cam and Mace back friends again. And, Jim, you know, Cam is, you know, chilling with him like that, like he used to. I mean, I don't know. But, I mean, it's good to see Mace and him together. Now, Mace, let me tell you something. I seen y'all did an interview the other day. Mace, you dressing like in the 90s, B. All them baggy clothes and stuff, man. Watch how Cam dress. You see Cam with the dip set uh, sweatsuit outfit. You need to get you one of those, man, because that outfit you had the other day is not kicking it, man. This ain't 1999. This is 2023. So... Mace, get your, your game right, man, with the, the dressing, man. I don't know what's going on with you. You got mad money. You getting them royalty checks for bad boys. You getting on that money. You sold a lot of albums, your first two albums. B, get 
get some better clothes, man. Like, the clothes is, is name brand, but, man, get them a little bit tighter, man. Not tight like that, but at least have them fit up, right? You got your shit all baggy. Like, we don't wear baggy jeans no more. Them, it might come back in style in the next 20 years, maybe old as fuck. But right now, we with the skinny jeans and the other jeans. We don't be fucking around with them baggy-ass fucking jeans. And I look at myself, mirror them jeans back in the 90s. I couldn't believe I wore them things. So, Mace, get your game right. Jim Jones, stop being salty, man. You getting mad money. Chill out. Y'all still cool. I don't know you. I don't know you still cool with me, but like I said, it is what it is. Next topic. Let's go. Uh, we want to talk about um, banger and all the rest in peace to him. Um, Troy Ab, um, Tech Stone. Tech Stone ain't getting out of jail no time soon. Salute to him, man. I know he he, he turned Muslim now. He said he had no choice. <laughs> um, Tech Stone. He he did some foul stuff, man. I mean, as of a brother. You never tell your sister to go suck some D to somebody to maybe, I don't know, get a plea deal or get something low. Um, that's kind of crazy, man. I will never have my sister do no shit like that. Um, but Tax Stone's a selfish dude, man. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I like Tax Stone. I like, his, I like this podcast where it was out. I thought the dude was funny, but I didn't believe everything he said when it came down to, like, he did say what he said he was going to do. You got to give him credit for that. You know what I mean? But he, he did a lot of snitching right into the lawyers. And all, you know how that situation. We don't need to explain all that. But for him to have his tell his sister to do some stuff like that is crazy. Um, Tax Stone already did like six, six and a half years in jail already. That should count for something. I don't think he's going to get life in jail. I think maybe he might get around 20 years in jail. Because he did plead guilty for the gun charge and all that. I say around 20 to 25. He already did six. So he might get out in the next maybe five to ten years. Maybe. I don't know. He could get life. You know, you, know, you never know what the judge want to give you. But, um, yeah, it's crazy. Um, I, I don't really think Troy Ab is going to go to jail. Man, but um, April, I think it's April 20 or April 22nd, he's going to get sentences. And um, they're going to, you know, put the trial, you know, see how many years he's going to get. Um, hope he don't get that many years. Man, I do like Tech Storm. Hope he could get free. But he did, you know, he got, the, you know, he, he shot three people, man. You know what I mean? He shot Mano Girlfriend in the foot. He shot uh, Troy Ab in the foot. And then Banger died. So, I mean, he got <laughs> he got a lot on him. And I'm, he might get 40 years in jail. Because people kill one person, they get life and this and that. But, you know, you shoot two people and you got a body too. It's crazy. But um, let's talk about it. Next topic. Um, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, and Drake. Um, Nikki and Drake got $20 million for their, their um, Apple Music uh, radio joint. And uh, Lil Wayne got his own, too. He got $15 million. But Nikki's moving. She's supposed to be moving her um, her radio station, Queen Radio, to a different label. Um, I guess they must have offered her more money. Um, Nikki getting that money. She getting that money. She don't need to rap no way anyway. She's one of the biggest, biggest artists, or female artists of all time. She sold more albums than everybody. Um, the the person got to be second and third in, in the line is Nikki first, um, Lauren Hill second, and Missy Elliott is third. You know, if you add all Missy Elliott writing for everybody, all the millions of albums they sold, she should be number one. She'll pass Nikki. But if you just add in her solo albums, she got to be number three because Lauren Hill sold around twenty million albums on her first album. We not even we not even counting the Fuji albums, you know what I'm saying? We just counting just her first album she came out with and the Unplugged um, MTV album she came out with. But you know, Missy got seven albums out, you know what I mean? And they all went platinum. She got two that went triple platinum, then the rest all of them went platinum and a half. You know what I'm saying? So they sold the most albums. Little Kim sold a few. Couple, you know, she went platinum three times, then went gold. You know, the brat went platinum twice, went gold. But like I said, um, Lauren Hill and Nikki's like mostly the biggest seller female artists of all time, rappers of all time. Um, salute to all three of them, man. Um, salute to Drake. Salute to Lil Wayne. The whole them them dudes are making so much money, and you gotta add Tiger in there too because Tiger was you know he was bankrupt for a while. He was buying too much stuff, and he he changed his whole career around after he left Cash Money. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people leave Cash Money and you don't hear about them no more. It's like being on Bad Boys. When you done with Puffy cut you off, you won't ever see you again. 
So salute to them, man. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, put a like and a button. We are out of here. Salute.